everybody, Livingston here, and we're about to jump into Wakanda Forever, the first time I'm watching this movie, and the third time I'm watching a Marvel film for the channel for the first time reaction. Gonna be interesting jumping into this one, and I'm not sure why, but Marvel films, I just haven't been going to the theaters to watch these lately. But I've been watching them for the channel, and it's been fun doing it and actually commenting on them as I watch the movies. It's just Phase 4 hasn't really given me much hope going forward into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but I'm hearing that Quantum Mania is going to probably get us back on track to some sort of narrative leading up to Avengers King Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. So, going to be fun and an interesting ride going towards those films. And that's kicking off with Ant-Man and uh, the Wasp Quantum Mania coming up, I guess, in a couple weeks from when I'm recording this. But we're here to talk about Wakanda Forever, not the rest of the MCU, and it's kind of sad to jump into this movie because we no longer have Chadwick Boseman to play T'Challa, aka the Black Panther. Going to be interesting to see how his family deals with this after the death of the character, and how they're going to be going forward and who's going to be taking up the Black Panther mantle at this point. And I do believe that the villain of this movie is supposed to be Namor. And I'm hearing Angela Bassett did an awesome job in her role as the Queen, so I'm looking forward to seeing her performance in this and I'm looking forward to seeing basically the cast that was in the first Black Panther and the continuation of that story going forward so let's just jump right in and see what we're getting into time is running out please allow me to heal my brother of this illness and I will never question your existence again DNA King T'Challa's heart rate has fallen to 31 beats per minute everyone get out uh oh so he's in battle, I guess? This synthetic heart-shaped herb has a minimal chance of producing the desired effects. I don't care! Curious. Creo. Yes? It's my brother's heart rate. Too late. Your brother is with the ancestors. So he died. We're leaving it vague. How did he die? Unyana, Wikumkan, Usholanishwa. Unyama, e Black Panther. It'd be interesting to see if they would actually go back to maybe some kind of prequel show us the first Black Panther. I'd be interested to see that story. Sort of the evolution of the kingdom 100 years ago, 150 years ago. I don't know if Marvel will do it, but why the hell not? Daddy! I think if funerals were like this, it would be uh, a little easier to get through since it's more of a celebration. I've been to a couple funerals in the last year and they've been pretty big funerals. I don't like the aspect of uh, a sad funeral. I want, at my funeral, I'd want music and celebration. I wouldn't want sadness. Even though it's going to happen, it's bound to happen. But, my God, let's dance around and have a good time. <laughs> you know, try to make the best of it. It's a pretty cool coffin. I like that they wear white, too. Got my eyes tearing up a little bit there. So where's his body go? One year later. It was a nice moment of silence for uh, Chadwick Boseman. By Her Majesty Queen Ramonda, sovereign ruler of the kingdom of Wakanda. Reverts back to the mother, I see. I don't know if that happens. It usually goes to the lower... I guess he didn't have any children, so it re would revert back to her, I guess. I don't know. It has always been our policy to never trade vibranium under any circumstance. Not because of the dangerous potential of vibranium, but because of the dangerous potential of you. That's true. They don't have the power, so they want it for themselves. Why not share it? It's like, why? We're the only source. If it ever gets out, it's because of us, not because of any other country. <laughs> Over there. Key uh, uh, that guy. <laughs> he gave him up quick. The king is dead. They have lost their protector. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he screwed up. I do like the music in this scene. Where is your spear? Should he give me this to try? <laughs> New weapons. I guess they just, they don't kill though. Looks like they just, uh, stun. And as for the identity of the attacker. 
Gamado. Did she break him? Further attempts on our resources will be considered an act of aggression and met with a much steeper response. It's a warning. That was a good scene. <laughs> Basically just showed her strength. Don't mess with us. It's a good message. Underwater. Uh, is this the uh, introduction of Namor? The drill seemed to make contact with a metallic substance. I've never seen a drill bit shoot up like this before. Is it vibranium? Vibranium in the ocean. Yep. Heading towards the vibranium detector. God, I wouldn't want to be in that situation. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. Sirens. If you don't know your mythology, sirens are the ones that are uh, usually sitting up on the rocks singing, which lures sailors in. Which you see them in the Odyssey. Um, there's actually a very good version of this with uh, Hallmark made it. It starred Armand Asante back in the late 90s. I think it was like 97 it came out. And they also use it in uh, Oh Brother Where Art Thou? Uh oh. People are in the water, sir. <laughs> That would freak me out a little bit. Yep, it's exactly what they are. Sirens. That's a not good. Five, we are requesting assistance immediately. It's Wakandans. No, it's not. Is she gonna make it? What's going on? Jump off! Nope. Oh, look at this guy. He's dead. I don't know if she's gonna make it. They're moving pretty quick. Get that thing up. Take off. Okay, they're gone. Oh, God. Uh, there's gotta be one left. Uh oh, they got a spear. No, oh, I was gonna. I was wondering if she was gonna actually like, throw that. We're good. We're good. Where is? The uh oh, I don't think it. I don't think they're good. Yeah, no. Well, they got some kind of magnet. Well, she didn't last long. It's a flying man. Really? That's how you open it? By drumming? <laughs> That's different. Yeah, uh, why don't they do cities like this? Where it kind of like takes in nature to account, where it just isn't all a concrete jungle. Exosuits for our army. It grants oh. superhuman strength, speed, and durability. Nice. What about recreating the hardship app? Have you made any progress on that? Excuse me, princess. Of course, interrupt at that point. <sighs> Letting some of that gray hair show. We all get it, eventually. That or we lose it. And you can leave your kumuyo beats here. Mother. No, no, you won't need them where we are going. Where are we going? I found your brother. In the breeze. The presence that you felt was just a construct of your mind. Brought on so you could feel some comfort or joy. Way to kill the mood. Stop! Right there! Who are you? A messenger. But my enemies call me Namor. Oh. I have more soldiers than this land has blades of grass. I would hate to come back under different circumstances. Uh oh. A new enemy? For no reason. That's awesome. Don't mention anything about me to anyone outside of Wakanda. I guess you want to stay anonymous? Should just blow it right now. Just see if it works. These men should be ashamed to show their faces. Watch your tone, Jabari. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, don't mess with them. <laughs> what would you have us do? We should find the fishman and kill him. <laughs> it's very direct. The altered frequency of vibranium through water, stones, even heavy metal. I kind of forgot. I think uh, Ironheart's supposed to be in this movie, isn't she? All of the legends and fables, those stories are seared in my mind. That sounds very painful. <laughs> so we have to find this scientist after all. We have to change everything we believe. When are we leaving so I can see my favorite colonizer? <laughs> Who's her favorite colonizer? Oh, it's Bilbo. Bilbo Baggins. Yeah, I, I got it. Follow me. <laughs> so it was you guys in the Atlantic. A lot of casualties. What happened? Seriously? It was us. So who was it? Hmm. 
another nation of people. You owe me, Ross. You owe my brother. Yeah, you saved the world, I guess. Or helped. The U.S. needs another machine, and this kid is the only person in the world who knows how to build one. A kid? Mm. Cambridge, Massachusetts. Please tell me it is a proper... Oh, they're not low profile. I oh. put it from here. Wait, maybe I should... Abduction, I see. Not is it the makeup? No. It's the wrong shade, isn't it? It's the right shade. <laughs> Get five minutes. Yes. Just invite her instead of just like she probably would have came in and just kidnapped her. Ooh, you're princess Shuri. I'm the princess. What the hell are you doing here? Oh shit, am I getting recruited? <laughs> no. Uranium <laughs> detector that you built for the CIA. Blue scar. Ooh. <laughs> I had it under control. <laughs> Broker speaker. With that merman with the winged ankles who wants to kill her. Got this. Mm, with your heater. Oh, what? <laughs> Just go. You're getting a free ride to a country most people aren't even invited to. What do you got to lose? CIA operatives because of your little machine. So those poor poor out there are the very least of your worries. <laughs> we need to work. Woo! I knew it. What does she have? I spent years on this. On and off. Have you flown it yet? Is it a suit? It's a suit. It's a crude suit. Her version. Shit, she got her version suit! <laughs> so, does she have these skills, or does she always have those skills where she can just take a dirt bike and just run around the street as if she's professionally done it for her years? can she do about it? Oxygen level is now 55%. Hold your breath. Yeah. Oh, she got it. Three, two, one. <laughs> Ooh, who got her? A water bomb. Oh, I can take a wild guess at who it is. Great. The water people have shown up. She should regain consciousness momentarily. She's okay. Oh, a whale? <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Hmm. Four on one. Uh oh. Ooh. Will she survive this? Hope so. I thought she killed those people. Ooh, come on. Damn. Mm -mm, this isn't looking too good. Damn. Well, she'll be fine. Knocked her out of the battle. I demand that you take me to Nemo. Do not bring harm to this girl. Well, at least the general's still alive. Uh, they went against the deal, man. They were supposed to call Namor after they got the scientists. Not playing fair. Our field ops got a tip from Langley that they were coming. R right. Who made that call? She did. Who is she? Oh, Julia Lewis Dreyfus. Uh, agent thinks it was the Wakanda. You're looking good. I try. You put that home gym in? Uh, yeah, last year. Maybe I'll drop by sometime and jump on your Peloton. <laughs> so what happened here? Um, I think it was a car crash. Got rid of them how? They dumped. He knows better. Can you give me a ride back to Langley? It's an eight-hour drive. Actually, wouldn't mind <clears throat> apologizing to you for a couple of things I said during our marriage. <laughs> they were married. I struck down three of them with blows that should have killed them, but they rose again. I wish to leave immediately to retrieve our princess. Uh, anybody? You will be stripped of your rank and your status as Dora Milaje. What? I have given everything. Allow me to make this right. Make it right. Have I not given everything? Yeah, well, I don't agree with her at this point. There was a powerful speech in the trailer, but I don't agree with the scene itself after watching the context of it. I am done. Hmm, at what point will she get redemption? Definitely don't agree with the queen. I, I'm gonna work from home and then uh, have a shower. <laughs> a 
country that's already on our radar, or you mean someone else? That is all I can say for now. Uh, let me if your government decides to act on their suspicions. Y yeah, sure. I love the vagueness. Did Shuri have her earrings with her? I lost track of them in the North Atlantic, but the people who took her spoke Yucatec Mayan. Interesting. Haiti. Queen got to Haiti pretty quick. Look at her. I was wondering where she was. Queen Mother. Shuri has been taken. What? You have infiltrated many nations before. How does she infiltrate one that's like underwater? What the hell are we? We're in a cave. Uh -uh. That is some super villain shit right there. That's in every movie. Princess Leia, Belle from Beauty and the Beast, that white chick from Indiana Jones. Hanan. Eat Mexico, Yucatan Peninsula. Nadie bueno llegó a haber hablado con eso desconocido. Le pido por favor, váyase ahora. Oh oh, in relation. Oh, you have. Oh, that changes everything. Siga perdida en la profundidad para siempre. It's a pretty cool world. You haven't really seen them underwater yet, though. I'm curious if they dwell underwater. I mean, they wear masks as if they do. These are all Mesoamerican artifacts. Most likely 16th century. Have you been alive since then? I was never as important as why. He's been alive for close to 500 years. It's quite a while. Our god of rain and abundance, Jack, gave our shaman a vision. A way to save his people. They've dabbled in gods a lot in Phase 4. You have the Eternals. You have this movie where they've discussed gods. And they also discuss gods in Moon Knight, which they deal more with the Egyptian gods. They all felt sick on their lives. Their existence there ended. Oh, now they're blue. <gasps> and they can't breathe. But enabled them to draw oxygen from the sea. All right, now we're going to see some underwater breathing. The plant gave me wings on my ankles and ears that pointed to the clouds. I was a mutant. Interesting. They've used mutant twice in Phase 4. Slowly bringing that word in. The first time they used it was in uh, Miss Marvel. The berry hurt the soil of her homeland. Nothing could prepare me for what I found there. Uh-oh. Y'all are in trouble. <laughs> Boy, slaughtered. I'd love to see your nation. You can go down there in that, and the pressure of the ocean will break every bone in your body. Ah. Oh, you can wear a suit. We have some of them. <laughs> you could just start with that. So where'd they get the suit? Did they steal it from somebody they already killed? Yeah, they're doing this a little different compared to, say, Aquaman. Aquaman, things were a little more bluer, a little more neon, very colorful. Here, they're keeping Namor very dark. Whoa! I guess this is a way to travel. Where to now? Catch up. Oh, well. Capital city, Tolokan, I guess. Ah, playing this game underwater. I remember seeing that in history books, that game played in Mayan society. Hello? It's quite beautiful. If only that existed. It's made of vibranium. In the depths of the ocean, I brought the sun to my people. I guess he does speak underwater. It's the first time we actually heard someone speak underwater. She's wearing her uh, fancy garb. I've picked up a location on Shuri's Kimoyo earring. Where? Approximately 140 meters below the surface. It's quite a ways. It's auto underwater suit. It's pretty cool. But when I lost my brother, I just felt different. He suffered in silence. When he finally asked me to help him, I couldn't. How does that make sense? Still curious what happened to him. I wish they would go into detail. I have a feeling she's taking up the Black Panther mantle. They're concentrating on her more so than any other character in this story. For centuries, the surface nation have conquered and enslaved people like us over resources. Can't argue that. If we make an alliance, we can protect each other by striking them first. Why strike? Just make the alliance and say, like, we control quite a bit, even the oceans. And if you can control the oceans, it's hard to fight that. And Wakanda will be the first nation to fall. Why? Wakanda cannot win a war with Talokan. 
I'm not really a big fan of Namor's motivation in this movie so far. I mean, I get it. He's wanting to protect his people, but he's wanting to go into all-out war with the entire world in order to do that. It's uh, kind of suicidal. I mean, you have a lot of people, supposedly, but I don't think you have a, enough to uh, fight everybody. It's kind of what happened to uh, that guy who ran Germany for a time back in the 1930s and 40s. <laughs> He thought he could take on the entire world, too. Well, we all know what happened there. You've got to give me enough time to investigate this properly, otherwise we're going to find ourselves at war with a country whose military capacity we can't even comprehend. Yeah, do you want to do that? I think he's the expert. I think it would be a mistake to attack Wakanda. Yeah, I second it. Pretend, my daughter, and the scientist, or I will inform them of your existence. What's his threat in return? Or if I discover a single Wakanda ship in the ocean, I will kill the princess, I will come to Wakanda, and I will kill you. i like to know what kind of power he has against people who are on land. Like, the ocean has only so much reach into the lands. Like, you can attack everything on the coast, but how about inland? What can you do there? I need to think. We ain't never getting out of here. Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, are you okay? All I gotta do is let her go. Beam me up. Did they hurt you? No. No. Yep, it was planned. Going after him? Man, why would you want to start war? I think anybody who wants to start war to start war is an idiot. He got like a megalodon mouth as a throne. That's pretty cool. I like how sound travels as if you're talking in a massive stadium underwater. Sound doesn't really travel like that underwater. Is it true you saw an underwater empire? Yep, yeah, it did. They're here. Story just don't do this place justice. It's great, but I really would like to go home. You can't. You need to be patient. Can I at least call my mom? Princess has been brought home by the war dog. Bye saves Wakanda once again. The queen will reward her with lifetime banishment, I'm sure of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. My when he was taken away from me just like that, I had to step away and let myself break. I couldn't just keep going as if nothing had happened, you know. Gotta deal with it in your own way. Understandable. Water's rising. It's not good. Yeah, I got it. Oh, you guys effed up attacking Wakanda. Uh-oh. Oh, Killer Wells. Awesome. <laughs> EMTs are suffering the form of sonic hypnosis. <laughs> there you go. Shut them up. So what point are we going to get a Black Panther? Got some strength. Air support. He's Rematch. Not yet. Oh, he's a bit on the strong side. Definitely gonna need somebody who's a bit on the superhuman side. He didn't even move. He's pretty badass. Sucks. Damn. He is pretty quick. Pretty protected. Go, John. Go do what you gotta do. Water bombs. Wake up. Damn. That much water came out of those bombs. Or I will wash Wakanda from the face of the earth. Hmm. One week, huh? Well, I didn't know she was gonna die. Well, at least she died saving. Yep, I tell ya, Namor is really a good villain in the fact that he just killed the queen of Wakanda, and she was a very beloved character. Yeah, Namor's an asshole <laughs> in this movie. I really did not like his intentions, but he has such a massive advantage, I guess. If you have any water going through your place, you're screwed, and most cities do. And what of your heart? Which way is your heart leaning? Vengeance. Just buried the last person who truly knew me. My heart was buried with her. 
So what's the plan? Are we going for vengeance or a peaceful resolution? Western allies say that civil conflict was the likely cause of the Queen's untimely. Do you have any comment? I just found out. I have no unsanctioned contact with the Kingdom of Wakanda. What about the bead? <laughs> what? Ever thought what we would be doing if the U.S. was the only country in the world with vibranium? I actually dream about that. It's director Desfontaines. She's arresting him? The Black Panther has never failed to protect Wakanda. I thought the Black Panther was gone. Yeah, but she found another way, I guess. I can't do the same. Did you think about it when you... I guess it's going to be the montage of how she figures it out. From his skin, it's a process called diffusion. She's smart, too. <laughs> if we could find a way to dry his ass out, he won't be as strong. Yo, that's it. How you dry him out? My stepdad was a car mechanic. He wanted to build airplanes, but you give me these tools and let me just work She's it out. a new mind, the new Tony Stark. Kanda's army. This is not me. I turned in my weapon. I built you a new spear as well. <laughs> what is this contraption's name anyway? Sister, I need you to be ready when I call you. Oh, she will be. She's like a new new hero, a new guard, a new version of a guard. How many of these did you make? A few. <laughs> yep, new Iron Man suit. <laughs> When I look at an Iron Man suit being made, I want to hear that, you know, that hard metal going on, that rock and roll. Some. Would you like me to print the hot shaped herb? Throwing a little ACDC, you know, when you're building an Iron Man suit. How would we know if it works? If it glows. Oh, it glows. Quinzekeel! I mean, shouldn't we be burning incense or something? <laughs> Just in case I go through cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest? She's joking. <laughs> right? No. Ramonda. Izapa. Quintumbia. She's gonna have a moment with her mom. Yeah. I bet that's what's gonna happen. She'll have a moment with her mom. Of course, I didn't think she was gonna be underwater. <sighs> mm, she's dry. That's a, that's a nice trick. <laughs> Not mother. Chidaka. Little cousin. So why did you take it then? You don't have a lot of me. So I can be strong. It was a nice little twist. That ended up being him and not the mom. I was really expecting the mom being in that seat. Are you gonna be noble like your brother? Or take care of business? Probably a little both. Relax. Why didn't they come for me? Just relax. <laughs> I think it worked. Shit. <laughs> Can I get some of that too? <laughs> Should have sipped on that juice. The only thing is about her being Black Panther, I didn't really see her get the training that her brother got. Nor did she get trained like the Dora Milaje, you know, like, I don't know. Interesting choice, I guess, but there could have been other people they could have chose in the Chalice place. Here comes help. And a new Black Panther. The princess. Go against her. Nemo believes Wakanda is on her knees. Prove otherwise. Here again? A distant location at sea. Let's say this does work. Gonna fight him at sea, huh? Mm. Assuming we can't kill this man who can fly and is potentially as strong as the Hulk. <laughs> what you call the Hulk and test that theory? With your permission, I would like to talk with Lord Mbaku alone. Yeah, yeah, well. Yes. Okay. Was my mother's life not worth eternal war? Of course it was. But you don't want to put your people through that. It's what I want. And what I want is Namor dead. Mm, definitely not thinking. Oh, they got a ship for the ocean. If you go to war for vengeance, it will not fill the hole left from her loss. It will only grow larger and it will consume you. It already has. That's what I can't stand about some of these stories. You have these very pure characters, and I understand her grief, but at the same time, it's like, you have to think of your people. Atlantic Ocean. I like their idea. Jumping a whale. <laughs> What's the plan? <laughs> there you go. Is this a trap? Them climbing up? Oh, there we go. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. Hey, how's it going up there? 
Okay, I missed the Brio. I could really use that backup right now. <laughs> Shaggy's fast, but I'm faster. Yeah, still no Iron Man suit though. I don't think he can uh, beat what they had in Avengers Endgame, Infinity War. That suit was pretty badass. It was like liquid metal. <laughs> Good transfer. I am the Black Panther, and I'm here for retribution. Perv operation cells activated. Mmm, science. It works. And she's a trooper. Set that water bomb. Boom. What now? The hell's that? It's a big bomb. That's a lot of bombs. Eh, just rock the boat. It comes back up. <laughs> well, they're getting everybody. <laughs> Take this ship down. That's a nice little climactic battle. So is this the final battle? It takes place on a beach. <laughs> yeah, try to fly now. Out of the water. Rematch. She's getting her ass whooped. Gonna kill him? Just a moment where we get the upper hand and Wakanda is now going to survive this battle. More than likely. This is called Wakanda Forever for a reason. Oh. It could have been different. Could have, but you didn't allow it. And she's okay. She ain't gonna let you pass. <laughs> Damn. She'll make the noble choice and keep him probably alive with his conscience once he sees mercy from her, I guess. Vengeance has consumed us. We cannot let it consume our people. See, she made the right choice. Well, there you go. Didn't have that many left. <laughs> Ah, the battle ended okay. Namor is going back home. Hopefully keep things quiet. He doesn't start the war. Maybe he helps in a future battle. I don't know. We'll see what his story does as it progresses throughout the MCU. One more thing to show you. Come. Oh, you're gonna pay to have it shipped back home? <laughs> have it shipped to Boston. Be there before you arrive. Can you ship me with a car? I have something I need to take care of. Uh, she's doing the ritual. The Black Panther sends her regards. Leader of the Jabari tribe, son of Wakanda, wish to challenge for the throne. <laughs> challenge who? Yeah, this is Shaver. It's pretty shitty that uh, he was turned in for doing the right thing. So who's breaking him out? Wakanda. Oh, the colonizer in chains. Now I have seen everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. That's cool that they broke him out. She went to Haiti. Hey, see. Hey. It's good to see you. Everything is ready. I think I should do it on my own. Of course. What is she doing? Gotta have a little bit of a montage with her and her brother. That's what you do when you think back on the ones you lost. It's these little it's few second moments that you pick up on. That was the end, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the end. All right, let's see what the scenes are. Ooh, got some people joining her. Can we join you now? Who's that? This uh -huh. is my son. Tucson. Who's the dad? This is your auntie, Shuri. Hi. It's your brother Skid. Well, that's nice. He is a new king of Wakanda. Just doesn't know yet. Your father prepared us for his death, didn't he? Because he felt that time was not yet right. Did my mother meet him? She did. Toussaint is a beautiful name. It holds a great history. <laughs> <laughs> Rose is cool too. <laughs> I guess. I 
I can keep a good secret. Kusa is my Asian name. My name is Prince T'Challa, son of King T'Challa. Yes, you are. <laughs> All right, that was it. That was the end of Wakanda Forever. I got to say, it's probably not as good as the first Black Panther, but I did enjoy it. I don't know where it ranks. Probably midways in the Phase 4 things. I think Shang-Chi is probably number one in the film area uh, when it comes to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But uh, I don't think it's, it's as bad as, say, like Black Widow. I don't think it was a bad movie at all. But I do think it was overly long. I do think that uh, Namor and his motivation for his character was, I don't know, not as good as it should have been. Because I think the villain in the first one, he was a lot more interesting. You understood what he was going for. In this one, it was about his people, Namor's people. But for some reason, it just didn't strike with me as it probably should have. It's just because his motivation was just kind of, I have to do this. I have to go against the entire world in order to save my people. It's like, no, you don't. Like, you're, you're working out fine. I thought the Black Panther storyline of how she ended up becoming Black Panther in the end, I don't know. It was kind of like just kind of pigeonholed into the story to me. Like, it was kind of mentioned in the very beginning of it as just a setup. And then in the third act, when you realize that she needed to be Black Panther like it was already there and she ended up creating it within a week that flower evidently she's that smart she can just design and do genetics with plants and clone something that was no longer there but uh, anyways she became Black Panther and I, I don't know the choice of her becoming Black Panther was a little I don't know I, I wasn't really into it just for the fact that she doesn't have any battle experience she does have a little bit of battle experience say from because of uh, Avengers Endgame but you didn't really see see her do a lot of fighting or training throughout the years. She was always a tech. She wasn't much of a person that needed to be in battle. And I was okay with that. It's just interesting that they chose her out of everybody. But anyways, what did you think of Wakanda Forever? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know. Comment below. Tell me what you think. And while you're at it, please subscribe. Until next time, see you later.